Vlogs. What it do, YouTube? Brandon Red here. Back at you another vlog. Vlog game, vlog game. Where you at? Vlog game in the building. So today I'm going to get my thoughts on Kwame Brown, Rose, BT, and calls out Little Nas X. Now, we all know Little Nas X, the rapper, has came out and he's homosexual. So something went down on BET last night. I did not watch BET. Well, son, I guess it was Sunday night or Saturday night, whenever it was, the BET Awards. I did not watch it, but I heard that he was on stage with some men doing some things, you know what I'm saying? Doing some strange things. But uh, Kwame, he has something to say. Kwame Brown has something to say because he's been, you know, like on a tour talking about all kind of things, you know what I'm saying? Dropping facts left and right. So he got something to say about this. So I'm gonna to react to it. Now, before I get into this video, if you're new to my channel, I need you to do me a favor, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell so you won't miss any of my videos. Give me a like, drop a comment down below. I wanna I want to get you guys thoughts and hey, if you got some requests for my, some other videos you want me to react to, let me know. And Please, guys, share this everywhere because I'm trying to get to 2,000 subscribers. Once I get there, I'm going to give away some free money to a lucky person. And it could be you. All you got to do is subscribe. All right, guys. Let's go ahead and get into this right about now. Shit. Hey, BET. BET. What that stand for now? Cause I know goddamn well y'all ain't still telling us this lie. This supposed to be black entertainment. What is it supposed to be? Black in a in a television. What is it supposed to be? Black <laughs> entertainment television. That's what BET is. Ain't hey, BET got soul or something? But <laughs> I think BET got a white zaddy now. A white zaddy. <laughs> BET equals EBT. Hmm. Huh. BET, what the hell y'all got going on? <laughs> I just want to know. Every TV show now, you know they got the same goddamn MO. Every show that's directed towards the black community, there's a lot of penis talk. There's a lot of penis showing. There's a lot of <laughs> ass talk. There's a lot of ass showing. And there's a lot of there's definitely a lot of fucking twerking <laughs> and, uh, and some killing. Yeah. And a lot of push towards young kids being homosexual. Hey, I just want to stop it right quick and say he's dropping facts. All what he's saying is true. It's too much of that going on on BET, man. It's too much. And yes, Kwame, they're not black anymore. They're sold out. It's owned by a white company. All right, let's get back into it. Why is that BET and all the black television? Now, please tell me. I got a question. Y'all not beyond reproach, are you? Can't nobody ask y'all a question. Why the fuck I got to have my son watching three niggas kissing on the goddamn stage? <laughs> y'all don't promote teenage love between boy and girl the way you're promoting all this boy-boy group shit. Facts. Do you want the teenagers to meet and find happiness and love and harmony too? I, I don't know what the fuck going on at this point. Lil Nas X, you got to calm this shit down, brother. Nobody gives a fuck that you gay, sir. Facts, well, you facts. don't got to keep kissing and all this shit on stage, sir. You don't got to keep having your clothes halfway off your ass and your body open and being provocative like you are and kissing on the damn devil and, 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 and all these shoe promotion with blood in it, sir. That is not you just being about you being gay. You being a puppet. And everybody that like you, these kids might find that to be okay to do it because they like your dumb ass. You don't see me out here just kissing on a bunch of women and all behind them and acting like I'm just the baddest motherfucking macho man heterosexual. Why the fuck the behavior gotta be changed? I told you I watch behavior and I noticed in Miami doing these sex prides and all this shit, they don't give indecent exposure to the homosexual community when they walk around with their penis out. Why is that? So heterosexuals now can 
Hell yeah, why is that? Why is that? My boy dropping these facts. Keep dropping them, boy. Keep dropping them, Kwame. And wear a heterosexual pride shirt and just walk out with their penis hanging out? We would get arrested. I told y'all, y'all better stop letting these groups make you change the way you think about what you're actually seeing. It's bad behavior. The only thing we should talk about and watch is behavior. Now, I know somebody going to dissect the video and try to get upset. I don't give a fuck. That is horrible behavior. And if you're going to ask basketball players that, and tell them they're role models, then you got to tell these motherfucking entertainers the same thing. Otherwise, they white zaddy is controlling our community. You don't see this much shit in Asian and white in any other community. Why are they pumping this shit to our boys? It's part of the agenda. It's part of the agenda, Kwame. My boy laying it down. No hoes, balls. He dropping it. Heavy, heavy. I know why. You neglect them. You take their fathers away so they feel empty a little bit inside. So they have this little boy mindset like fucking Becky with the finger wave and uh, stack five that's been in groups his whole goddamn life and can't stand alone. They have this yearn for being in groups or being next to a man. So when you when you destroy this boy's childhood and his upbringing, and he have no sense of what a manhood is. He'll see that you're giving accolades and, and praise to somebody who's turning gay. And so that's what he'll do for attention. You guys are sick what you're doing. You puppeteer motherfuckers that's pulling the strings, y'all are sick. And y'all some damn bullies. Nobody gives a goddamn if you gay or not. It's 2020 fucking one. Ain't nobody turning away no electrician if they gay. You guys are pushing this shit. And I want to know why. Are you above a question? Because it seems like y'all above every goddamn. All right, guys. That's the end of the video. I guess that was just the part because I heard um, it was like, I heard he has like a long, uh, I think he got a radio show or something. I mean, a podcast, whatever. He talked for an hour about something. I don't know. But uh, anyway, he was dropping facts, man. My thoughts on the whole thing is, yes, I agree with him. They are pushing a, an agenda to try to get all the young people, all the young men to be feminine. That's just, Hey, that's just me. That's just my thoughts. They're trying to make them feminine. So when they grow up, it's not going to be masculine anymore. I mean, you know what I'm saying? When this next generation come up, it's not going to be masculine anymore. They're going to be submissive. And this whole world, well, not the whole world, but definitely in America, it's going to be like just feminized. Not saying anything wrong with feminized, but we need that balance. We need masculine and feminine. But right now, the way things going, they trying to push the feminine trying to push that to the forefront. And if we have, if this country just turns to uh, homosexual, just homosexuals everywhere, same sex and everything, what you think is going to happen to the population? Not going to have any more kids no more. You know what I'm saying? I don't want to get too deep. I don't want to get too deep, but uh, it's an agenda going on. And uh, I agree with my boy Kwame. Keep dropping those Jews, man. Hey, if he drops some more videos on stuff like this, maybe I'm, I think I'm going to start reacting to his stuff. All right, guys, that was my thoughts. I want to now, I want to get you guys' thoughts. What you think about what's going on with Lil Nas, Lil Nas X? Do you think it's an agenda going on? They pushing that? Or it's just all entertainment? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And do you think Kwame Brain is, what I say? You think Kwame Brown is right? Let me know, guys, in the comments below. All right, that's it. Again, if you're new, hit that subscribe button, hit that notification bell, give me a like, drop a comment down below, share this video, help me get to 2,000 subscribers. Make sure you type vlog game down in the comments. 
And I'm whoever types vlog in and comments when I hit that 2,000 subscriber, I'm gonna pick that person. As long as they, as long as they are a subscriber, they're gonna get some free money. All right, that's it. I'm out of here. It's been random, and Random Bridge is out. Peace.